Hey guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and today we are back with another interesting video. Now, we have talked about Android customization on our channel. But if you are a Windows user and if you want to customize your Windows PC, the sky is the limit. I mean, there is so much you can do. And from today, we'll be talking about so many tips and tricks in these kind of videos where I will be talking about how you can customize your Windows PC. And well, today, I'll be talking about how you can give your PC a clean, minimalistic look. So well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. Okay, so first off, we need to hide the taskbar. And to do that, you need to go into the taskbar settings and here, enable the toggle that says hide taskbar. Now, the next thing that you need to do is right click on an empty area on your desktop, go to view and uncheck show desktop icons. Now that your desktop is all cleared, we can move on to loading some cool widgets onto it. And the first thing that you would want to do right now is install Rain Meter along with all the skins that I'll be using in this video. And the link to all those will be in the description of this video. So now that you have the necessary software and all the necessary files on your PC, the next step is customizing it. And for that, I'd like to call in Varun because he was a person who designed this desktop for you guys. And then I thought it's pretty good if he explains all the steps to you. So over to you, Varun. Hey guys, what's up? So Ashish has already told you about everything that needs to be installed on your system. But let's talk about how everything needs to be set up in order to get the look that we showed you. So once you've installed Rain Meter, the first thing that you need to do is unload all the pre-placed widgets. Now install all the skins that you've downloaded. First up, head over to Documents, Rain Meter, Skins, Cold and apply that given wallpaper. Now load up the individual skins from the lines pack. Do the same for Cold as well. Now I only wanted the time and the date widgets but you can choose as per your liking as well. Next up, there's the interactive dock. So once you load it, it will be in the vertical position. Now to change that, open up the settings config file and change the vertical alignment section. Now for adding or removing icons to it, you'll have to add the path for the application and the icon as shown here. Now I know that it may look a little tough, but trust me, this is just a one-time process. And if you face any troubles, just follow what I'm doing on the screen. Now once you've done all of that, refresh the widgets and you're done. Pretty cool, no? Well, that's all from my side. Uh, but wait, this video isn't over yet. Ashish still has a couple of things that he would like to brush by you. So make sure you watch this video till the very end. But till then, I'm signing off. So I think Varun has actually talked about everything that is required and <laughs> he has just left the conclusion to me. So guys, uh, if you like this video, please do give us a thumbs up. And one thing I like to talk about here is that Rain Meter takes a lot of resources and uh, if your PC is not that powerful, you should actually try and use it for a few days. And if you see that it is taking a lot of resources, then you should go ahead and just, I mean, not use it on your PC because you don't want to go with the looks by compromising on the quality of the work that you are doing on your PC. I mean, it works only if it's powerful enough. Now, apart from that, if you have any doubts or if you're facing any issues while following the steps, you can ask us them in the comment section and you can also suggest what are the kind of setups that you'd want to see in future videos so with that guys we come to an end of this one if you like this please do give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do hit the subscribe button as well well that's all and i hope to see you in the next video until then take care and have a wonderful day Bye bye